Hello everyone, Leslie Cornwell, Midwifery Business Consultation. I want to start out this video of if sky was the limit, you could do anything you wanted, money was no option, no barriers to life, what would you do? Would you still be a midwife? Would you be sitting on a beach in Tahiti? Like why, what is your sole purpose? What brought you on this earth? And when you're close to your deathbed and looking back on your life, what are you gonna think about? What are you gonna be your strengths? What are you gonna have regrets about? And I made this video because I want midwives to not give their heart and soul to just being a midwife. I've seen so many midwives that everything, they lose their children, they lose their partners, they lose their identity of being anything outside of a midwife. Um, they'll never retire, they'll just be the granny midwife till she can't get up anymore. And that's okay if that's what you want, but I want midwives to know that our sole purpose is not just being a midwife. By knowing your sole purpose and figuring out what you want to do and what you're really passionate about and why you've been put on this earth will help to make you a better midwife. So the example I want to give is myself. Two years ago, I hit a deep, dark place with professional burnout. I was suicidal. I was really going off the deep end of like, why did I become a midwife? This, I'm losing my family. I'm losing my kids. I'm losing my identity of who I am. And it was rough. It was really, really rough. And I'm grateful to say now in a completely different light, I am happy. I've, I've, I've gotten stronger from it. I've figured out my sole purpose. Why? I wanted women empowerment. I created Midwifery Business Consultation. I created an entity that helps other midwives serve women. I liked being at the bedside and catching a baby and being able to support her, but that wasn't my strong calling. My strong calling was at a bigger level. How can we get more midwives a normal birth across the country? I learned I like the executive. I like the leadership. I like the larger scale decision making. That's my strength. I can help in the director role. I can help in the consultant role. I can help other practices get their midwifery mission and values to where it wants to be. And I can balance my work in life balance. I'm not on call 24 seven anymore. And that helps me with my anxiety and who I am. I like more structure and control and I am grateful midwifery respects that with the birth. And so I wanted in my life to be able to support the birth world, but also be able to give women the opportunities. So helping get birth centers started, helping to improve financial revenue streams for the birth centers, their policies, the protecting of your assets, um, creating passive income on the side to help with your true mission of being a midwife so that you're not feeling, I've got to see more and more women every Every month just to make up for this expensive health care costs that's present with many private um, systems nowadays so I really really want everyone to stress take a deep breath why did you become a midwife why are you considering being a midwife what is your sole purpose why were you put on this world meditate for a while sit there and think if there was no barriers to laws, money, supports, resources, you could do anything. And write it all down, write it on a piece of paper. Don't let any, pretend you're five again and there's no, you've got the innocence of no barriers in place of this reality we perceive we have. Um, take the time and learn and grow the part of your sole purpose and it will make you a better midwife short-term and long-term. I'm Leslie Cornwell, look forward to seeing you more.